Hello, and welcome to another Scottish Mountain Walking Guide. For today's episode, I'm travelling to the very top of Scotland, around 35 minutes drive north of Ullapool, to climb Conneval and Ben Morassant. The total distance for today's walk is 17.6 kilometres, with 1,222 metres of ascent. It is expected to take around six and a half hours. But that isn't the whole story. At least half of the walk is over rough, either wet or boggy, or very rocky terrain that requires lifting your knees more than normal. As a result, the going is slower and more physically demanding than many Monroes. The walk took me seven and a half hours, and if you have a look at the Walk Highlands website, they have an estimated time in summer as eight and a half hours to 10 hours. So it's tougher than it looks on paper. Parking is in a public car park at Inchnadaf. Parking is free, there are no height restrictions, and you can probably fit around 20 cars there. There are parking restrictions banning the overnight parking of anything other than a car. It's around five hours drive from Glasgow or Edinburgh. You're free to park any vehicle between the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. The closest public toilet is in Ullapool, 35 minutes drive away. As always, links to the OS map for the route, the starting point car park, and the Scottish Mountain Weather website are included in the description below. Starting at the car park, you return to the A837 and walk north along the side of the road until you cross over the river here and then you turn right down a gravel track. You follow that gravel road, ignoring these junctions here and just keep following it, keeping the river on your right hand side. It starts to gain a little bit of altitude as you climb up here and you can take a shortcut on this road. Follow the road You'll go past the little cottage here and you keep following it and you're gradually gaining altitude. You'll see a sign right here for the Tralagill Caves. The path for that is going straight ahead here. So we want to keep slightly to the left and follow that up. And you'll be continuing up the side of a little stream. So that stream is on your right hand side as you're going up here. And you'll come to this point and you'll see that the path then heads off to the northeast. And it starts to get quite steep. And this section here, right from here, up here, is all quite boggy. It's not too bad, but you do have to make your way through it quite carefully. This is where it starts to get rougher as you're ascending. And it gets steeper up here and rockier. The grass is quite clumpy and it, it's just a bit hard work coming up through this section. You keep ascending. Right here, there's a bit of a wall that you can climb up. You can scramble up. If you're more on the right hand side, it's more of a scramble. But if you follow the path as it zigzags to the left, it's quite an easy scramble. You do need to use your hands a little bit to get up this section. And then it flattens off. There is quite clear path to follow. There's gravel, well-worn gravel you can see. So you make your way around here. And then you're onto the ridge properly. Once you're on the ridge properly, the path is quite easy to follow. It gets steeper again as you head south and then it levels off for a while somewhere around here I think it's around this point there's a bit of a wall again you can go either side of it if you go on the south side on the day I was there that protected you from the wind but you follow the path it kind of cuts through it and then gains a bit more altitude and then you'll come to the summit of Conneval from the summit of Conneval you need to make a right turn you've been coming southeast now you want to go northeast. And at this point, there's a little bit of cragginess to climb down through. As long as you're careful, it's not difficult, but you do have to follow the path and make your way through some rocks and work your way down here. And then from there, you're onto another ridge, but it is quite rocky and quite uneven. You can't simply stroll along this ridge. You got to make your way and pick where you put your feet as you're going along pretty much all the way along this ridge. Then you'll come to another a false summit, so you're coming up a fairly steep section. And you make your way up to the top here, and then another slightly steep descent down, and then you come back up for the second top, which is the actual summit of Benmore Ascent. And the summit, as you can see, it's straight ahead, but when you're, when you're coming here, it seems it's more a little bit to your left. So you're curving around a little bit to the left. And also, you can see there's another sort of top over here to the south. It's a natural point to go and walk along to have a view. 
Unfortunately, on the day I was there, it was overcast and cloudy on the summit of Benmore. It cleared up as I was returning back, so when I got to about halfway between the two tops, it cleared up. The return is the same route as the ascent. You simply retrace your steps back along the ridge, make your way up through the craggy bit here, up to the top. You can cut round this corner when you're returning. You don't actually have to go back to the top of Conneval. You can just, once you've come up through the rocky bit, you can just cut across here. It's a fairly flattish top. When you've got visibility, you can see the cairn quite clearly. And then from there, you're going to head northwest and just work your way back down the ridge and curve round and come back down. A slight little scramble section. It's not difficult to descend. And then you follow the path here. Some of this path is a little bit unclear, but as long as you're going down with this little stream on your left and just keep working your way down. Further down this section is very clear, very rocky, well worn, easy to follow. One thing I didn't point out on the way up, there is a little bit around about here that you've actually got to do a little bit of scrambling along this path. The path goes along the side of the hillside and it's quite a narrow little path and there's just a little bit, it's a bit rocky outcrop. You just need to take care as you're working your way over that little bit. Other than that, follow the path all the way back out. And then you'll join back onto the gravel track here and just follow that back down. And when you get back out to the main road, turn left, back down to the car park. Good morning. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm at the car park for Conneval and Ben Morassant. It's actually better looking away from the mountains out towards the sea. It's a lovely morning. Almost a full moon. There's a good sized car park here. But they do have big signs saying, oh, no overnight parking. They've got scheduled times for vehicles, like camper vans. Not allowed to park here between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Gonna get a cup of tea, have some breakfast, and then I'll get started. From the car park, you head north back along the main road that you would have driven along to get here. We're going to go up to the next junction on the right and then you go along and by that house you can see over there. So just head north for a little bit. If you look to your right at this point, you can actually see the summit of Conneval. It's up there under the cloud. <clears throat> so the path goes along the valley and then round that first mountain side they see there and goes up the sort of belac between the two of them then you go up onto the ridge. Ben Morassant is kind of straight on behind. I think it curves a little bit to the left but it's out of view at the moment. That cloud is meant to clear up in half an hour's time and then should have clear tops, a mixture of high cloud and sunshine. And a little bit of wind, not as bad as recent walks, but there will be some wind up there. So you'll see the sign for the lodge, and there's a walking sign there as well. So we just head down here to the right. It's already a bit blustery. Every time I've come here, it's been very windy. At this junction outside the lodge, we just keep to the right. We basically keep the river on our right hand side until we get up and around. And then when there's a certain point where the path will break off to the left and start actually going up the mountain. Lovely sunrise. It's a bit windy. Well, it's just calmed down again.
As you come to that metal shed back there, the gravel path fades away. Still a clear path to follow, but now it's just grass and mud. Keep going around here, and not too far before we turn off to the left. When you see the sign for the Tralegal Caves, you do not want to follow that. You want to go to the left and keep following the path. Conorval is straight ahead. Top is starting to clear. So just go left. Right at the end of the little valley that we're, I'm going up before I turn to the left, there is a slight section of very easy rock scrambling. You could go through the river as well. Uh, just go up the side here a little bit. The rocks have sharp edges for your feet to step on, so it's not slippy. Just along a little bit and then round to the left. looking back down the little valley with the river it's at this point where the path naturally splits off to the left and we see further up the path on the side of the hill there so it goes up there to the lowest point the BLAC between these two tops and then you walk up the ridge line to the summit of Conneval Get a nice view on the way up. Just keep going up this path that curves round to the left and joins the ridge. Soon be on old rock. It was a little bit boggy that section coming up there just from the valley to here. Not terrible but a bit peaty. Almost at the BLAC, still a bit to go. There's a flat open rocky field between here and the ridge line there. Seems to be clearing up on the Monroe, still overcast high up. It's taken just under an hour and 45 minutes to get to this point.
just at the top of this scree, right below the Bila. I think it's slightly easier if you go along to the left there. I'm just going to climb up this little scramble bit, take me onto the ridge. Probably then get exposed to the full wind. I was talking to the guy back there, it was a significant wind chill at the top. Uh, not a lot of snow, so that's handy. Yeah, I'll see. When you get to the top of that little bit, you'll find there's a reasonable sized cairn. The path keeps going straight ahead, but it's going to start bending round to the right. It's a clear and obvious path up through the rock. So we're going to go up that way. Straight ahead and follow up to the right. I've made it properly onto the Bila. It's at this point the path turns to the right. I'm looking the opposite way, I'm looking to the left across the Bila. And being at the top, the wind starts whipping over from the north. I've got down behind some rock just now, just to get out of the wind. So just follow the path up, up the highest bit. Clear and easy path to follow in the the wear and the rocks on the line of the scree. There is a big cairn on Conneval, so I'll be able to get behind that if I need to put more clothing on. And then you drop down 100 metres, it's about a kilometre or so along the ridge to get to Ben Morrison. This is the least windy it's ever been that I've been up here. Very windy part of the country, this. Now starts to flatten off and I'm walking along the sort of top of the ridge. There's about 500 meters to the actual summit. There's a little outcrop of rock here and I've got behind it to get out of the wind. I'm going to put some more layers on. Uh, it's quite, the wind chill is quite significant. You can see all the frost. So there's about 500 meters to go. Quite nice here out of the wind. The sun came out for a wee moment. I now have three pairs of trousers on. Don't have my fleecy trousers on yet, it's not quite that cold. But yeah. So it should get a bit easier going along this ridge. Hard to tell if the wind will die down. The cloud is meant to rise and the sun come out. So hopefully that happens. You go over Conneval twice, so if I don't get views when I first get there, hopefully it'll clear it up by the time I come back. Approaching the summit of Carnival. Not a lot to see just now. Very windy. So I'm not going to stop here for long. Just have a wee rest out of the wind for a moment. From Carnival, it's a 90 degree turn to your left. We had turned southeast to get to the very summit, and now we're going northeast to head down onto the ridge towards Benmore Ascent. And then we'll curve around to the right and then basically just walk in an easterly direction. 
I am hopeful that this cloud will clear as the forecast predicted and on the way back we should have better views. Time is 11.35, so just over three hours to this summit. There is a little section here, you've got to climb down through the rocks. Just now with it being icy, the rocks are quite slippy. But once you get down there onto that ridge, it's quite a straightforward walk along from there. So I'm just going to work my way around a wee bit to the right. Well, there's a chance that it does clear up. So Carnival is back up there. Just got to make your way along the ridge. I think it's a bit rocky, it's not like just an easy path just to stroll along. There's not too much up and down. Yeah, it's a bit windy. Almost clearing up. Almost. Found another little spot to get out of the wind. It's really getting quite cold there for a while. 100 metres below the summit in altitude, about 600 metres to go in distance. Current temperature is minus 2 degrees and with wind chill, minus 10 degrees. It was meant to be sunny at 1 o'clock, it's in 50 minutes time. Won't be sticking around until one o'clock, that's for sure. I'll just head up there and come back. Gets dark earlier these days, maybe even 3.30. So I've got about three and a half hours of sunlight left, or daylight. Got my head torch. It's not, you know, we can easily navigate off this mountain in the dark. I'd rather get back down before it gets dark. When you come to the end of the ridge, there's a high point on the right, and that is not the summit. It would give you a nice view, but not just now. The actual summit of Ben Morrison is that rocky pebble there in the centre screen. So you just go a wee bit to your left. On the summit of Ben Morrison, just in case that's the wrong cairn. Good luck. Uh, it's a 
shame there's not much to see that last little section is protected from the wind from the sun I'm going to get back around to the other side that's better like I say, on a nicer day, I would go across there to the southern top and get a nice view. Four hours it's taken to get to this top. I'm pretty much just going to head straight back. Simply retrace your steps, head west along the ridge and then down to the Bielac after Coinaval and down to your left. No, oh, we're going to go this way. Having come all this way I may as well show what it looks like from this other top. There's a summit over there. Just windy and cloudy. So from here it's head northwest, and then west along the ridge, and then up and down. Clearing up a little bit. The wind seems to change direction. A little bit. It's coming more from the east to the west. Even though it's not clear, it's quite nice walking here just now. You can see the Bielac away over there in the centre of frame. And that was the ridge that I went up earlier on. And then you go along the top. And Conneval. It's almost clear. It looks really nice down there in the sunshine. M past one, forecast wasn't actually that bad this time. It was meant to be clear at 10 o'clock this morning, maybe even earlier, but never mind. Wind chill's not as bad now. Down to two pairs of trousers.
Out of the sun and by the bow. This guy is wet. No less windy. Some of the bed more, still got a little bit of cloud on it. They wear that had white tails. south so at least the hail's going to be on my back and not be quite so stingy in the eyes and also once I go down that little bit of scrambling which is just ahead uh, I should be protected more from the wind it should calm down Back at the top of the little ledge that I scrambled up earlier, I came up over to the left there. I thought I'd have a look further to the right on the way down. So there's a cairn there, it's usually a good sign. So I'll head towards this and then just follow the wear marks. And you can see this is quite a easy descent down onto that bit. Then it's straight down, back down to the river, and then out to the right. It's 
half past two. Another six hours past. Looking back at Conneval, that's me right back down to the stream that I walked up beside this morning. So on the way down, keep that on your left, path just goes along the side of it on the right. Relatively easy walk all the way back out to the car park. Thirty-five in the afternoon. One last look at Conneval. Looks so calm and peaceful now. Just keep heading this way. I hope you've enjoyed the video, certainly a mix of weather, quite an adventure today. Trying to get back to the van before it gets dark, I don't know if I'll make it. Thanks for watching. And back at the main road, left turn takes you back to the car park. That's been seven and a half hours since I left the van. This is definitely one of those walks that is actually more difficult than it looks on paper. It's the same last time. I wondered if being a bit fitter might have made it easier. And maybe slightly, but it's a long walk. The terrain at the top is awkward for walking over, it slows you right down. So I would be very wary of doing this in the winter, get even more difficult and you won't have enough daylight in the day to do it without a head touch. Bye for now.